Welcome to Robots Great War Season 2. This is Heat 2. In the last heat we saw Ghost Hunter eliminate all of its opponents. And now, this week, we return with six new machines. Some of them may be experienced, but some of them may be redesigned and more powerful for this series. So, let's begin with round one. Yes, as we heard, the return of Robozilla 2, but don't count out some like Porygon 2 or even Dreadblow. And here is the robot that everyone's been talking about, Robozilla 2, seed number 7. The return of Robozilla 2, just like a tank, this thing. And next up is Tarantula Scorpion, two of the deadliest animals of the arachnid type. The two prongs of the, of the weapons for this robot. And lastly, Tutara. Very similar to Stinger in many ways, only with a lifter instead of a pendulum. This could be the dark horse of the heat, I just don't see it winning. Roboteers, stand by. I feel that it will be Robozilla 2 and Tarantula Scorpion who will make it through as this match begins. There is, here we go, and there's a... Oh, they're all jockeying for position here at the moment. And there's a great move there by C number 7, Robozilla 2. In there on both of his adversaries, Tarantula Scorpion and, of course, Tutara. And here comes Tutara trying to lift up the big frame of Robozilla 2. While there's uh, Tarantula Scorpion getting back in the game and lifting up Robozilla 2. And Robozilla 2 is in a whole heap of trouble here. Please don't tell me it's not be another seed that goes out. We saw two last heats. And Robozilla 2 could be the third. Here in this, he's fighting hard, but just nothing's getting through here. Currently, it's Tarantula Scorpion for me. He's doing very well. He's fighting there against Tutara. And currently, Robozilla 2's on his side. And in comes Tutara. And they were dead metal. Well, don't go for the glory, mate. Just eliminate Robozilla 2. Don't go for the glory and try to eliminate him. Oh, no. Robozilla 2's back. And he's going to start putting that massive frame into good use with the blade, of course, on the back. Pushing here. He should have just kept it in there. He might be able to make it through, but now he's incurred the wrath of Robozilla 2. And that's not good. And Dead Metal still has hold of, of, of Tutara. Tutara is now back in the game. Tutara fighting against Dread, against Robozilla 2. And lift up Robozilla 2. Robozilla 2 in verbal, though. In the meantime, what's happened? to Tarantula Scorpion. It's just stopped. And the ref box coming in. Tarantula Scorpion might be out. I think he's being counted. He's, he's gone. Dead Metal comes in on Tarantula Scorpion. That's a big shame. He's doing so well. But now, Jutara and Robozilla 2 don't have to fight anymore. Now the house rebel can come in, kill a lot comes in, so does Dead Metal, and they just disappoint him over the arena. He's done. Cease. So the seventh seed Robozilla 2 makes it through along with Chutara. And here is Porygon 2. Scene number 15 and hoping to avenge their loss in the first round of Sumo Basho last heat, where they lost to Tornado very quite convincingly. And next up is Dreadblow, one of the most destructive robots in Robots Great Wall. Maybe the most destructive, with that rotating spinning bar on the top of the robot. That could cause a lot of damage. And of course, Dominator 2 with the axe. Looks a bit flimsy compared to axes we've seen in the past on Robots Great Wall. Robots like... Halberta. Roboteers, stand by. I just don't feel that Dominator 2 will have the knack. I feel it'll be Porygon 2 and Dreadblow making his, their way through to the second round as we start. Look at that spinning blade go! That could cause a lot of damage in you know while the axe of Dominator 2 comes down on Porygon 2, not doing much damage at all. And Dreadblow comes straight in on Porygon 2, the back of the seed! Dreadblow fighting his way straight through on Porygon 2. Is that it for Porygon 2 off the off? I think it might be. I think Dreadblow has signaled out the seed and is attacking the seed with the spinning bar. The spinning bar comes in, Porygon 2, I think he's out. But I don't think Dreadblow will get involved, why would you? And they're going to dominate 2, and there's a nice shot, Dreadblow! Oh, Dreadblow's up on the top! 
now. Who? Who has gone now? And Dominator 2 comes in to seize the advantage. Dominator 2 and the Axe Blade. Tre Tread blows down. Porygon 2 is down. And Redbot's counting out Porygon 2. He was first to fall. Dread blow might just make it through a technicality. I think he has. And the are Matilda's just about to come in the kill. And Porygon 2 has failed in the Sumo Basho, and he's failed in round one. C15 is out. A great then by Dreadblow, destroying Porygon 2 in the early get-go, and that was enough for them to go through. What a win for Dreadblow and Dominator 2 tagging along. Sheesh. Porygon 2 is out.